Hundreds of Iraqi protesters breached Baghdad's parliament on Wednesday, chanting anti-Iran curses in a demonstration against nominee for prime minister by Iran-backed parties. The protesters, mostly followers of influential Shiite cleric Muqtad al-Sadr, were seen walking on tables of the parliament floor, living through folders, sitting in the chairs of lawmakers, and waving Iraqi flags. Only security forces were inside the building, and they appeared to allow the protesters in with relative ease. The protesters were protesting the recent selection of Mohammed al-Sudani as the official nominee of the coordination framework bloc, a coalition led by Iran-backed Shiite parties and their allies. The protest was considered the largest one since federal elections were held in October, and the second time al-Sadr has used his ability to mobilize masses to send a message to his political rivals this month. A group of Israeli peace activists and Palestinian protesters clashed with Israeli soldiers on Wednesday near the occupied West Bank town of Harris. The protesters were trying to block a main road near the settlement of Ariel when soldiers fired tear gas and pushed the protesters away. No reports of injuries due to the clashes. Most of the international community considers the settlements illegal and supports a two-state solution to the conflict. However, neither the United States nor other world powers have given Israel any incentive to approve such an arrangement. Israel says that Palestinian leaders have rejected proposals by previous governments that would have given them a state, and the country views the West Bank as the biblical and historical heartland of the Jewish people.